Hello and welcome to this conversation about the path of love and the path of wealth and how ultimately this is one and the same path in the ultimate sense and the priestess is that one within you who knows this and walks this. So I love to start my transmissions, my moments with you, with some anchoring into the now. So inviting you to place your hand somewhere in your body, stop whatever you're doing and really give yourself the gift of fully tuning in, fully being present here, first of all, for your own self. So just closing your eyes for a moment, if that's appropriate for you, placing your hands on your body and taking a deep inhale, letting the whole world take a pause around you and a big inhale into your belly, feeling the weight of your hands on your body, reminding yourself that you are fundamentally well, you get to take this time, you get to connect to your heart, you get to connect to the now and live from here. So I am dedicating this conversation to an archetype and a state of being which is very, very close to my heart. It's a state of being of a luxury priestess. So I work with some of the most extraordinary women for whom the path of the priestess is the path of their supreme destiny. And um, I used to even have a school called the Priestess School and uh, the school ran for a few years. We were meeting in person and module after module, women were going through really advanced feminine training from the first module where we were undoing the knots and the tensions and the places where we abandon ourselves and the places that then where we just disconnect from the bright light that we actually are. To then the second module where we moved and worked with sacred sexuality to the third module which was more about deeper alchemy and sacred union within and connecting with the men around and the men in their lives and so on and we also had the journey to Egypt as a part of it so it was a very successful uh, part of my business actually but one day it was just complete and I stopped running that school. However, the path is still very much woven into my work. And uh, the path of the priestess is the path of love, of the highest love. The women that I work with, what they are recognizing is that nothing in their lives, no relationship, no success, no wealth will ever give them a sense of complete fulfillment what where fulfillment comes from is so it's so much deeper and at the same time from this depth we get to enjoy all the beauty all the miracles of life all the success all the wealth all the orgasmicness all the pleasure all the sensuality all the joy in relationships so it may seem paradoxical because whenever we think about the spiritual path, it sounds like it's something so out there. But in my work, nothing could be further from truth. We actually get to have direct, full experience of embodied human life and recognize that this is inherently sacred. So the uh, path of the priestess is um, is this radical path of a woman who offers her whole existence in service to love, where she understands that her, the greatest use of her life is for her to get out of the way of the workings of love and become so transparent, so conducive that love shines through her. In my own life, that's what started my business. Because when you live in the 
the surrendered state, you see that you are drawn to certain experiences that you wouldn't have even thought of. But they just become irresistible. There is something in you that is like, this is what you have to do. This is, this is the path. This is what opens for you. This is what opens for you. This is what opens for you. And in that, you also get to trust your desires. You get to trust, this is how I am moved. This is where I'm attracted to. And that's how all my offerers, all my schools, all my now masterminds, the Sundari Temple, this is how everything has been created. Through this just un undeniable, unmistakable pool, this is how love moves me. This is how I get into this place where I commune with that which is the most sacred to me, with, with that eternal beloved who holds me at all times. And as I create, as I express, I commune with the Source. So that's the state of the priestess where you also get to see such a big perspective of life. In the state of the priestess, we can see that there are many different archetypes that play out within us. There is a little girl, there is the, um, um, the mother archetype, there is the wild woman archetype, there is a seductress archetype, the lover archetype, there's all of this, and the ice queen archetype, there's all of that within you. However, from the place of the priestess, is the place that embraces all of that, and helps you see things beyond the immediate perception, the immediate interpretation. From the place of the priestess, you get to tap into your highest self and from there see with so much more clarity, with complete clarity, because it's no longer personal. It is transpersonal. She exists in that transpersonal state and that's where you see that, yes, whatever you do in your life, it has to be good for you. It has to serve you first. You have to feel happy. You have to feel fulfilled. Because from this place, you are able to be nourished. And from this place, you are able to give. And at the same time, she also at all times has awareness of the highest good. At all times. At all times. At all times. Because her heart is so big. And nothing personal will ever be fulfilling enough. And so this is how then luxury comes in here. Because luxury priestess, two together, and by the way, I have a masterclass coming that is called exactly like that, luxury priestess. It may feel like, wow, but this is starting to get edgy. <laughs> because the priest is like, okay, we well, can understand. It's like she's a con conduit between the unseen and the seen. She is the one who can alchemize any heavy kind of emotions, any kind of darkness. She, she knows how through her own body, how to attune it in a way that it becomes a divine instrument. And through this divine instrument, she can alchemize whatever energy is, is within her, whatever energy is in her environment. So, okay, we, we kind of, we can understand the priestess. Yeah, sounds very... Uh, very alluring and I feel like every single woman can can connect to that place it feels so rich so let me know by the way as you are tuning in if, if that's if you know her within you if you are aspiring to cultivate more of her if you are interested in cultivating this level of trust that you know that every your movement every your um, Everything you do is actually love moving you to do that. So that requires such a deep level of trust. And that really takes us from this prison of this personal stuff where we doubt, where we worry, where we wake up with anxiety, where we fall asleep, feeling nervous about the following day. Like she takes us out of all of that and she makes us focus on what actually matters. So that's the priestess and um, when I met her within me, my whole life changed, everything changed for me and um, it, it has never been the same. It just, 
it, she taught me, this awakened priestess within me, taught me that I get to trust myself, that I get to trust my desires, that I get to live the life of, of totality in this trust. And with the recent things that I am facing in my own life, there's like my trust is invited to a whole new level. You know, it's like what I thought trust was for me like two months ago, half a year ago, is in peanuts. The trust that I am invited into right now to drop again the things that I've so carefully built, the things that I thought this is it, this is what I can relax into, but recognizing that the places where I've been gripping and holding tight, yes. I, I am invited to trust and it's my high priestess self who holds me through it all. Even in moments when I'm like, oh my gosh, this is getting quite emotional and quite destabilizing for all my personal, for all my personalities, she is there. So it's nice to see that <clears throat> some of you recognize her in yourself and others what do you think about her? Does she, do you connect to her? Does she feel real to you? This place of complete trust within you. This is who she is. In man, of course, there is also those aspects. Your highest self, basically. The self that is not getting carried away with the stuff that holds your highest truth as your anchor. And so how does luxury come in here? Um, and very powerfully so, actually. Uh, luxury comes in as an, as an actual expression of the heart. And for a lot of people, when you hear luxury, it kind of sounds like, okay, it is something extra that I need or I don't need or I love but I, or I secretly love. Like for myself, uh, when I was a student, I had a lot of people around me who owned luxury brands and who owned luxury cars and so on. And I remember that I liked it because I really liked the aesthetics and the beauty, but I felt unworthy of having those things. I felt unworthy of having beautiful things. I felt I'm not ready yet. I'm maybe when I'm older or I don't know what. And then at some point I started to, to despise it. I started to be kind of judgmental even about people owning all the luxury brands and designer and clothes and stuff like that. And then uh, much later in my life, I once I stepped into more of me and embraced more aspects of me, I saw how much actually I love beauty, all forms of beauty and how much I love luxury. And in this love, you know, if this is something for you, if you know that you are attracted by luxury, if you know that it's, there is something for you in cultivation of wealth in your life, in relaxing into wealth in your life, if this attracts you, don't overlook it. It's very important. It's not for everyone, but for those who have this affinity, it may be a really, really important part of your priestess path, of your dharmic path, of your spiritual path. Um, and so kind of in traditional spirituality, it may be said that, oh, it's not like you have to leave away, leave aside all worldly concerns, all possessions, there's no space for that, like you should just renunciate everything. But in the tantric path, which I am a teacher of, actually we embrace it all. We embrace and embrace and embrace. It's such a beautiful feminine path of a constant embrace, constant embrace. And so if you're attracted by wealth, if you're attracted by creating beauty, luxury in your life lean into it because when i stopped fighting that attraction that i had i started to see incredible things in my life even recently 
when I purchased my apartment from where I'm talking to you now, it's the most gorgeous apartment I've ever been to. And the moment when I walked into here, I was like, oh my God. Like I'm walking in here, it's the first place I'm seeing. Like I was ready to purchase my place. I'm walking into this first place. I'm just entering the, the hallway even before I came into the apartment. I'm like, oh, this is very stunning. <laughs> and that really fits the idea that I've had. And so then I'm walking into my apartment and then I am walking through the corridor and then I see the view and I see like all the beauty and like how the floor is made, like it, like the floor is made like with little stones here. So there's like so many details, there's copper little lines, like different uh, types of wood and how it's all made. And then the view that opens here, it's like I came in and I was like, wow, oh my gosh. And then I felt like it's my place. And uh, there was a whole journey around it and you know, whole inner process, so many initiations that came with it. But now living here, I understand why it was so clear to me. And it was clear really from that, not my average human self. It was not clear to my inner little girl. It was not clear to any parts inside of me, but it was clear to my priestess self. This is my place. I came in, I was like, this is my place. My mind was like, this doesn't make any sense. This is my place. The price is way out of range. This is my place. This is my place. This is my place. And so that's how I just could not deny this very wise, trusting, completely open part of me was telling me, this is your place. That's it. That's it. That's it. And so, uh, thank you for this love. <laughs> so now living here, my people, the most incredible things are happening to me. Because I had this sense, I was like, okay, like I want, like when I will get this place, because it was a long journey, it was like quite a while for me to, to finally move in here. But I was feeling to my, thinking to myself, like when I move in here, this will be good for everyone. It's not only for me, it will be good for everyone because of the woman I will become, because of what it will embody, like what, what kind of, what it will mean about me when I live in here. Like that's a whole other conversation. But anyway, like there, there is that, like who I become, what kind of woman I am when I live here. And it's way bigger than I ever thought. That's what I want to say. You know, because we could just simplify it and say, oh, well, it's just a beautiful place. Of course, you just want it to be a beautiful, luxurious place. <laughs> Not so simple. That's what I can tell you. Not so simple at all. Because what's happening here is that in this beauty, I see my heart. In this beauty, in this care that is here and that I continue adding here, I see my heart. And my heart feels met. And we're talking about serious things, by the way. And it's kind of, oh, beauty, luxury, heart. Like heart, really. Like my essence. My heart feels met here. And it's not that my heart cannot be met in any other place, because ultimately I, I need nothing. Yet, when you are held in the space where your heart just can relax, because we have vulnerability in the heart. I have wounds and stuff in my heart. Like, it's tender. So it, it is worth it to invest into holding this heart. And so I did. It's a big investment. And yet, it pays off. Like, every single minute of my life, it pays off. Because in this holding, I, I relax deeper. And then things come up for me to heal, to integrate, I'm magnificent. It's only when we are completely held can we access certain aspects of our souls that are just not there, that we just, we don't have pathways to them. We have to be held in a certain way to access some certain subtle aspects of our hearts. 
This is just how it is. This is just the human reality. So as I am held in this beauty, as I am reflected the light of my own heart everywhere, and as I keep feeling my life up with that, more of my heart comes online. More of me comes online. I am more me. I am more truthful. I am more relaxed in my own skin. Again, it's not because it's like a shiny thing that you just, you know, just buy this thing and then you'll feel happy. No, it's not that. But it's that meaning that we give to it and what it reflects to us and what kind of frequency, what kind of energetic vibration is actually embedded into that thing. And then luxury also manifests in support. Just for my 2024, I invested over $170,000 for my support. Support for my heart, support for my business, support for my vision. And that is a representation of how deeply I care. How deeply I care for this priestess path. For this love to move through me. How much I want to liberate anything that's in the way in me that that is protecting me from conducing even more love and as i am conducing this love this is my greatest pleasure my greatest joy because i am communing with that love that i am but at the same time then it benefits everyone around me it benefits all the people who are in my field it benefits all my clients it benefits all the people who are just connecting with, with my with my things in various ways here online and so on it benefits my family it benefits my friend as i am more me the more i shine my light and as each one of us shines more of our light the more we ascend as collective as humankind nothing is separated from each other you know the butterfly wings effect you feel like it's a small thing. Your life is a small thing. Well, you becoming you, you entering into your truest, highest vibration. It's a small thing. It's not. You know, the butterfly moves her wings and then the tsunami happens on the other side of the world. So that's how profoundly connected we are. So, uh, yeah, luxury also gets to be expressed in, in the way that is it works for you whatever is luxury for you luxury is a frequency of more than enough it's like of course you can survive in any kind of environment i lived in a bungalow in thailand for five dollars a day and i was really happy actually i was so happy there was sea just there i could walk barefoot i didn't i i think i had one pair of shoes and i didn't even wear them because it was nicer to walk barefoot and um, I did all those things and it did not uh, reduce my happiness. And uh, then we get to decide what, what is more than enough for us, what is overflow for us, because that's what it is. More than enough is a state of overflow. Overflow means you are so full and then it just flows out of you. And uh, it doesn't deplete you, it's on the contrary, Enrich, enriches you and enriches everyone, everything around you. So that's the state of the luxury priestess. And you decide yeah, what it means to you. It may be the support, it may be the environment, it may be how you treat yourself, how you don't push yourself, how you honor your actual states, your cycles, your, your moods, your energy, how you don't let yourself spiral down, but you teach yourself and you constantly hold yourself in a way that makes you spiral up. So these are all teachings of the Luxury Priestess. And I am so delighted to welcome you into the masterclass that I'm running where we will have three days completely dedicated to her, to unlocking her from within you, to opening to sensual pleasure, because it is an important aspect of it. If we want to play with all of life, yeah, we, we may as well delight in all of life, in all of our pleasure. We, we will work through 
various ways to alchemize heavy frequencies, heavy vibrations within us, and you will have actual tools to do that for yourself. So no matter what kind of darkness you're facing, because now many are in this place of underworlds, the priestess is the one who knows that she goes to the underworlds and the, from there she extracts the nectar of immortality. She is not scared to crack the personal identities. She trusts and she trusts more. And so you will have a whole three days of attuning with her, receiving transmissions on her, practicing with her, with bringing her forward from within you with me. So that's happening next week. We have three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And when you join now for the first 48 hours, so starting from now until Friday, you will get in at the lowest rate and then it will increase. So it would be a delight to have you with us. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, but we will have unforgettable three days together. So uh, I'm just checking your comments here. Okay. Well, I really love, I really feel like it's really on point where a lot of people are at. And for those of you who are feeling this attraction to wealth, to beauty, to to luxuriating, to creating those stunning environments and stunning support in your life. Yes, all of that gets to be a part of your highest becoming, of you unlocking the highest purpose of your life. You sign up by uh, going into my bio and clicking on the link there. So it's available there for you. You can also DM me and then we will send you the link directly. So, beloveds, I hope to see you there. Don't miss that. It's the first masterclass of the year and it will be stunning. And I hope to see you there.